Hello Newcastle fans, TV and France are in the Euro 2016 final after beating Germany 2-0 at the Stade Velendrome in Marseille. So, um, let's get on the game and we'll have, we'll have a talk about it straight, quickly afterwards, what happens next. And So, just in the sixth minute, it was great build-up play by, on the left by Griezmann and Matuidi who played a 1-2 each other. Griezmann went to shoot with his right foot, Neuer down well to save it well. France started off very, very, very well. But in the next probably 25 to half an hour, Germany had a lot of possession on the ball. I felt that they lacked that striker up front. Muller's been really, really poor at all, to all tournament. I know they've changed, they've had Goethe up front, then they've changed up Mario Gomez, and then they went with Muller. We know Mario Gomez was injured, but you could tell the cutting edge up top for Germany was just lacking. France looked vulnerable just in the 13th minute when Draxler crosses, and Emre Chan, who plays his first game in the Euros from the edge of the era, as well. Did he scuff it, side foot it, and Lloris did brilliantly get down and Palmer well. I really do, re uh, Hugo Lloris, I really do. He's in the top five goalkeepers in the world for me. Um, then, then Schweinsteiger tries to curl one from distance from about 26 yards. Hugo Lloris, a little bit uncertain whether it's going to go in, and he tips it over the bar. Well, it probably was going over, but he, was, he wouldn't have known that. Um, Guzman, Guzman was played in uh, around about the half an hour mark. He drags his shot wide, now he pulls his hand away. Giroud was also played in before half time as well, but he's got no pace. He was played in, and then Howard has literally runs back and slide tackles, and he celebrates like it was a goal. But there's chances galore in the first half, but Germany were, were the better side in the first half. But France got their goal. A corner comes in, um, Everett goes up for a header. Schweinsteiger has, heads the ball like that. It's, it is slightly harsh. It is a penalty, of course, but it's slightly harsh. Gives a penalty, Schweinsteiger's booked and up steps, up steps Antoine Griezmann who puts Neuer the wrong way to score his fifth of the tournament. France go into the break, perfect timing to score a goal, 1-0 up. Nothing really happened in the first probably 25 to 30 minutes in the second half. The goal kicked off in the 73rd minute when Griezmann taps home. After Pogba had the ball on the left, he clips it in. Neuer can't catch it because he's got defenders in his way. And Griezmann taps in like a slide and then... 2-0 up, you're thinking game over. Germany have got to score before the 80th minute really to have a chance of getting back. 74th minute, or just literally a minute after that goal, uh, Kimmich picks the ball up the full-back of the right-hand side, switches to his left and bends one. Beautiful. Cannons off the woodwork and goes out of play. He's so, so unlucky. Really, really unlucky for the right-back. He's pressed. He's really impressed me, uh, the right-back from uh, Germany. Right the, On the 74th minute, sorry, 76th minute, Draxa has a free kick in the central position. And I thought, why isn't Tony Cruz over this? But Draxa picks the ball up and it's just wide when he strikes it with his side foot. Just wide, I thought it was in. And it just goes past Hugo Lloris's left post. And you think, oh, he's lucky there. Like, he's very lucky. And then Cruz's free kick on the 82nd minute is brilliantly whipped in. And then Howardes goes up for the header as well. And it just goes over. So the Germans are having a lot of chances. A Kimmich header was also brilliantly saved by Hugo Lloris as well. Coming towards in the last minute, the 90th minute. And then when the cross comes back in, Mario Goza heads wide. And France hang on. They'll go 2-0 up. Griezmann, six of the tournament. Top score is three ahead of Giroud and Cristiano Ronaldo. So it looks like he's got the golden boot. I can't see a hat-trick from either one of those other two. So France march on at the final. My, my tip, remember at the very start of the Euros, I said France were the tip to win it. I'm still sticking by them, still there. Um, I've got, I put a bet on, I've got a six to one bet and I put a tenner on that, so it looks like I'm going to win. Even if Portugal win it, I put, a, I put the sweepstake on, it works, I'm buzzing with that. Like, But France march on, the Germans look really, really poor. I've said it just before there, Lacking cutting edge up front. They they have a problem that I feel up front. They haven't got an out and out striker. I think in the future, I feel, despite them having a poor tournament, I think Muller has to play there for Germany because they've got nobody breaking through in the lower ranks who can score plenty of goals. So I feel Germany weaker. They're weak. Yes, I know they had Hummels missing. The Boateng went up with an injury, I know, in the game, but on the other end, really poor. France scored in the final. They'll play Portugal. They'll feel that they're, that they're up for this. Uh, I think France will win it. I think they'll win it quite. Depending if Ronaldo turns up, it just goes to sh just goes to show you Portugal quite rely on him for goals. If Ronaldo doesn't turn up, I think we'll get beat. Simple as that. Let me know what you think. And um, I've I've covered every team, every game so far in the Euros. That's mad in it. That's dedication, people. That's dedication. We've just got one more game to go, which is on the weekend on Sunday. I'll be doing that one for you on uh, Sunday night. I've been Lee on behalf of Newcastle Fans TV. See you later.